Good morning, everybody. Today is day 208. It is August 31st, 2023, and it is 11.39 a.m. or somewhere around there. Okay, so you guys, I had a very busy morning, which led to me coming out here late. I recorded a video, and I'll tell you guys about it once I am sure that this treadmill is going to work, at least for uh, video one. Okay, so if I have time, then I will make this a double day and I'll have a video too. And then as you guys know, I would have to say right now I'm back on track for just not marking the day until I'm sure of what day video two was for. But like I said, we gotta get past video one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and incline up and I'm just kind of in a rush here. So I'm like, it's gonna go to 15, it's gonna go whether I go one incline at a time or if I just make it go all the way up there. Okay, so we gotta get to speed two and then I'll tell you guys about my morning. And my right foot, you guys, is already hurting. I don't know, I feel like I hit it on something. So I have no clue what's going on. Um, let's see here. Hopefully it won't affect my walking because if it hurts too much, I don't think I can even do a video too. Okay, so let me act like I'm actually up here and get a, a stride going or something. Because it doesn't hurt enough for me not to walk right now. We'll see. Okay, so work speed two, incline to 15. Let's see how long it lasts. We're at one minute and 28 seconds. Okay, so yes, this morning I've been awake since very, very early. I did not get up right away. So the first thing that I did was I had a haircut. And then after that, I came back and I recorded a video. Now, I decided to record my inside video first instead of coming out here and walking. I don't know if that was good or a bad idea. We'll find out as it gets closer to one o'clock. Okay, so I recorded a video about the Weenan Bluetooth speakers. They are RGB, they have a subwoofer in them. Um, they are some awesome little speakers, you guys. Like I said in the video that I made, which will probably upload even before this video because that video, I happen to know, is shorter than what this video is going to be. Because I walked 40 minutes, right? And I know that that video was less than 40 minutes. Okay, so um, if you guys want to know more about it, then I know in the video that I made for it, I'll have the link in the description box for Amazon because it was an Amazon purchase. And then since I'm talking about it, then maybe I'll put the title and link here. I don't know because it would lead to this video and then you guys are gonna be like, where's the speakers? And so I know just like from a search, right? You'll be expecting to see it in the title and you'll see me in the truck and I'm like, what's going on? So maybe I won't put that in the description box for this video. Okay, but like I said, you guys should see it on my channel. Um, they are small, but they pack a very powerful punch, you guys. Oh my gosh. They're loud. The bass, nice. Um... I was just so excited to do a review and I just couldn't get the video right. Anything and everything that you could think of happened this morning. Okay, so I have been thinking, remember this is the first nail that I repaired, my ring finger. And I repaired it, I keep saying two weeks ago, but it has to have been longer. Um, I don't think I've had it on, like all the stuff for three weeks, but maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been a month, but I don't think so for some reason. I believe I did these on the 21st, which being that today is, what is today? Thursday, Friday, can't remember. But the 21st was last Monday, right? Okay, so yeah, I will be coming up on a field, but you guys, the frustration is, um, well, I take that back. So, 
coming up this week, I don't know what I call it, whip up, but I'm choking on it. That's weird. Come to think of it, it will be a month next week because I'm thinking of this finger. Yeah. So this one only lasted not even three weeks. I should say maybe close to a month. And when I say the stuff came off, you guys, the whole thing came off. I'm talking about the powder, the uh, fake nail, because most of it's a fake nail since I cut my nail down. Um, of course, the little bear stayed stuck to it, right? Go figure. I glued it back on, and then I had to glue it on again. So the only good thing is I don't have to actually cut it and try and get it off. Okay, so I only glued it on good enough to just do my videos. And um, I might just pop this off before I hop in the shower. Might as well. And then I can go ahead and start from scratch. I have no clue, aside from one idea, that I'm still not getting the powder only on my nail or the paint. Or by the time I top coat, it's too much. And if anything touches the side of my nails or the cuticle, it's going to lift. And I'm seeing now that even if it doesn't, uh, doesn't touch the cuticle, if it touches the side of the finger, it's going to lift on the side. Like I said, it's going to pop just right off. It didn't even hurt. Um, and it wasn't expected. It released. Now, I do have an idea. I don't think that any nail tech put any primer on my nails before. And not polish has that triple bond. I am thinking, mm -hmm, I'm trying to remember, this nail is the nail I think where I put the triple bond, but I did not put it where I put the nail glue. This nail I did, even though I already knew I was only supposed to put it on the part that the glue would not touch. So I either A, now that I think about it, uh, just talking about it right now, I'm either A, going to try the primer on the nail and then the glue on the tip and see how it works because this one doesn't feel like or look like it's going to lift. Well, I'll say it doesn't feel like it's going to lift up. Okay, so I don't know because if it does, I'll find out in the next, what, probably two and a half weeks, right, when it's time for another fill. Remember I said I was going to have to repair my nails so much that by the time I plan on doing the full set in October, I probably already have a full set in my hands. Um, you guys, it's got to last past a month. That's not going to work. Okay, I don't want to have to keep repairing these. Um, like I said, the only upside is when I do a fill, I don't have to put another nail on there. But if it's going to come off, yes, I do. So I'm still trying. But at least I was able to glue it on for now. And this is the nail where I had like that problem um, of where I just left the original full set on for too long. But remember this full set is only like what, a month and a half old? Yeah, it's not even two months old yet. So I don't know you guys. I know once I started doing the fills that my full sets weren't gonna act the same. I don't think it has anything to do with that shop because the quality of their work was good. Like I said, they just didn't listen. So we'll see. Because I'm thinking that I may not have time to repair this. Mm -hmm. Not till later on this afternoon. That's not good. I mean, I do carry glue with me. I mean, come on now. You have to when you start wearing fake nails, right? Even if it's just your nail in the acrylic. I mean, if it just so happens to come off the way that it did, that sounds odd, but that would be your nail underneath in the acrylic powder, right? So, I mean, if it's possible for it to do that. As a matter of fact, I think your natural nail will still be there. It just will be grown out. So, yeah. But I got to figure out what to do and how to get it to last past that. Remember when I said I thought I should have taken it off and drilled where it looked like melted plastic? and then did it the way I know I was supposed to, I am now regretting that I didn't do that. 
My other thought process is actually to put no primer. And you're like, really, none? Yeah, I mean, I thought that's what they put on your nail. That starts to make it look clear after they found your natural nail before they put the fake nail and the powder on. But I don't know. Um, if it is, then I think they only put it down by the cuticle. So I may be putting it up way too high. It could just be that as well. Um, I know it's not alcohol because at some point it would burn, right? And I know that some people will wipe their finger with alcohol or nail polish remover to try and remove some of the natural oils from the nail before they start applying everything. So I have two different ideas of what to try and I may not have time to do it until later. Okay, so we'll see. Am I gonna have to open up my pack of glue that's in my backpack? Um, so yeah, so the recording, oh my gosh. It was one thing after the other. Um, I hadn't been on my laptop in a long time. So first I didn't want to log in. Then after it logged in, then I got it to go to the internet, which was fine. But when I got to the part of my video to go to the YouTube studio to play the music, it wanted me to sign in. And I did not remember my password. So I was telling you guys all the stuff that was happening along the way. The video was already about 16, maybe 19 minutes long, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. I was like, this video is going to be longer than what I wanted it to be. I want to do a full review of the speakers, but not like this. So I erased that 16 or 19 minutes, however long it was, and started all over. Yes. And I didn't explain that part about me having to remember my password to log into YouTube. But I believe I talked about some of the issues I had this morning on the final video that will be uploaded. So it was really frustrating. Really, 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 really frustrating because I did not have time to keep having to start over. Yes. And even now, I planned ahead. My phone when I got out here was at 64%. No. If I am going to do two videos, absolutely not. My phone is plugged into that outlet. I am not playing this morning. I don't have time for anything else to happen. Right? So I made it through the video and the music is loud. Just to warn you, if you watch this video before you watch that one, I crank that thing up, okay? I want you guys to hear everything. Like I said, the sound, the sound quality, the bass, the bass quality, all of that. Um, it has so many different options. It was crazy. Each button, there's four, had multiple functions. So when it says read the instructions first, yes, read them first. And they are chargeable, and I have no clue how long it takes to charge them up. If you don't want to charge them up, they come with their own power adapter, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so, and they're small. They are, I think it was four and three fourths of an inch in height. And then they were, at the top, they were three inches across, so I guess wide. And across the widest part, I don't know, maybe three and a half, maybe four, I didn't actually measure because they're oddly shaped. They're not completely square or completely rectangular. Okay, so they're really cool. And you can see inside of them. Mm -hmm. Besides the lights you can see. And besides being able to see what I think might be the subwoofer in them. Yeah. And uh, they're so cute because they look like someone took those old school speakers or those tall speakers they use like a concert and just shrunk them. And then put them in some type of odd shape. Um, they have a rubber bottom. So yeah, really, really cool. I like them. I tested them this morning. I think before my haircut to a song I figured I might have to either share um, profit if I make profit from the ads. However, it works with the videos. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about um, short ad sharing versus how it works with the ads with regular videos. I thought I had everything now packed, but they're always changing something, right? So yeah. But um, I had a lot of fun 
once I got the video going, got everything going correctly, then it was, it was go time after that. And uh, I just played some stuff off my favorites from the YouTube studio. No attribution, of course. Don't want to have to, like I said, worry about copyright issues. So I did that. And then, like I said, I was like, nope. I do not have time to play repair right now. I shouldn't have to, but if I was better at this, it wouldn't have came off in the first place. Um, I don't know, I think I got something else going on with it. I think I need to treat it first and then see. That could be the reason too. The stuff doesn't want to adhere to the fact that it needs to be treated. So I might have to keep this one off. I don't know, I'll take a look at it. Um, when I take it off, because I'm gonna have no choice. It's gonna pop off and I least expect it, right? So before after shower, it's gonna have to come off. And then I'll see. And who knows, if it holds up in the shower, because I'm right-handed, if it holds up in the shower, then maybe it will last until we take care of what, it, what we have to do. So yeah, um, all I know is that recording first inside, Maybe press for time. Um, okay, so also, I'll go to charms and I'll go to drill. So for the charms, I decided which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to send back. So I set up my returns for that. The drill bit, the typhoon course drill bit. I mean, I think that for one is a lot. And uh, I don't know. I thought it might be a little too rough, a little too coarse. And so I decided to send it back. And what I replaced it with, which I should be eating very quickly, is a little set. And so I did get confirmation that the drill bits are interchangeable. Just make sure it's for the correct size shaft. Okay, so the 332 seems to be more common. And I know on a Google search it says that's the shaft size of a drill for a professional drill. And it said that other bead files are like um, an eighth for beginners. But I am noticing a lot of sellers, at least on Amazon, are kind of sticking to the 332 shaft. It's a fraction. Remember I told you I know how to say it. So I don't want to mess it up. Um, if it is 332s, that sounds kind of odd to me. So yeah. Now, all I have to hope is that the drill I just ordered, yes, I know, I just got a drill. Mm -hmm. And like I said yesterday, sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes just because you paid less doesn't mean you didn't get quality. Um, like I said, it'll do everything I needed to do except for one thing. Now, jokingly, if my product keeps just popping off where the whole thing comes off and there's my nail, I kind of won't have that problem. What? I just mean, I'll know every month, roughly speaking, to watch it. And um, that I might be doing repairs instead of fills. Like, I'll be doing fills and repairs at the same time. So, yeah. And repairs are where I start from scratch, okay? So if you're thinking if you're just repairing it, of course, you're gonna have the same issue. No, I mean, where if it didn't come all the way off, I took it all the way off. This time it came all the way off on its own. Um, the other time, it just lifted from the cuticle. I still had to cut it from the tip. I think if it was gonna happen the way it did, I'd rather it happen like this. Um, for the time being, I'm gonna tell you, if I'm not anywhere near my set of stuff, I will just glue the whole thing back on. Like I said, I'm not gonna play around with that. I think it looks awkward when one is just like that. If I'm gonna be just, you know, around town, running errands, and I really don't care. Um, so it's just to say, I really, really feel using alcohol on it just wasn't enough. Okay, so yes, the new drill, several reasons why I got it. Number one, I was told that the drill I got um, isn't strong enough. Yeah, I mean, you have the convenience of it being cordless, mm -hmm. but the fact that it doesn't plug up to a power bank, 
it has less power. So, I mean, I don't know. If I were to keep it plugged up all the time, and when it's plugged up, it's charging. That's the other thing, though. I don't think you're supposed to use it while it's charging. I have a couple times, but the other ones have like a power bank. You charge with a power bank, and then you use the drill from that. And I don't know if you charge with the drill separate. I'm gonna have to find out because that's the kind of drill that I got. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys I went against my better judgment. Normally I wouldn't, okay? Not for the price that it was, even though you know there was a coupon on Amazon and I wasn't gonna pass the fact that there was a coupon. And then how much, roughly speaking, I was told that I should end up spending, what should be good enough for the fact that I'm working on my nails like from home. Um, and when I say working, I mean just doing my nails, right? Um, to where I don't go to the shop anymore. I haven't even went for the one time pedicure a month or every two months yet. So, let me know something. Before I repair this, it'd be a good time to paint my toes, wouldn't it? Uh oh, I have a decision to make. I know for a fact, with the time I have, especially if I record two videos today, I do not have time to paint prior. So, the nail repair might have to come after the painting of the toes. And I can see me being up until three or four o'clock tomorrow morning trying to do all this stuff. Um, if I start around four or five o'clock. Yeah, especially if I add in painting my toes. Um, you would think it wouldn't take that long. But the thing is, getting it polished correctly. You know, you do a little bit of a cleanup even if you don't soak your feet. And so time flies. I can tell you that right now. Um, you still have to remove the stuff off. And then, like I said, I have some of those little face pads that you use for when you remove makeup. I bought them for another reason, but I think I'm gonna look for them. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna look for them before I do the repair, like when I have this piece off again. That way, I don't bump it and break it. And if I bump it and break it, that means I'm still doing something wrong, right? So, but I still, I don't even have to worry about this one. And if something else is gonna happen, I'd rather know it in advance. So, yeah, because the cotton ball sits to your finger and uh, very, very frustrating. Especially if you decide to wear gloves. That's pretty much a no-go with this. Now, I know what you're thinking. They have fingerless gloves. What you're trying to protect is your nail so Right? That's why the thought process is do your toes first, then your nails, your feel, full set, whatever. So, it doesn't help. Yeah, it's not my palms I'm worried about. Um, so that's why I haven't purchased any of those gloves that I've seen. That I think some people, for whatever reason that they're doing the nails, have started to buy. I don't see the purpose of them yet. And some people might be thinking, oh, trust me, you will. But I just don't yet. So we're at 23 minutes. Let me take a water break real quick. And see, even with me having to reach over here, I'm thinking the finger I put the bear on, if that bear snags, I, I know this piece is gonna pop back off. The bear might separate from it at that point. But yes, so I ordered a drill. I got it down to two. Actually, I got it down to one. And one thing that still made me not purchase that drill, even though there was a lot of Amazon reviews and YouTube reviews, was the price. Yeah, even with $30 off, it was so expensive. And I know I've been saying some stuff, if you're looking at long term, if the fact that you are actually paying for quality and that's why you're paying more, Sometimes you can't get around that. But this other drill, I mean, honestly, it wasn't too much cheaper than the other one, especially if the other one had the $30 off. And if the drill I did get did not have, I think it was like 15% off. So it wouldn't have been too much more for the other drill. What made me go with this other drill that only had two reviews, both had videos on Amazon, was that 
it says that it's 40,000 RPMs. And then when you lay it on the cradle, the drill pauses itself. And when you pick it up, it starts back. There is an actual pause button on the cradle. So I'll have to see when it comes if there's a pause button like on the drill itself. Um, but yeah, I did find, now, I didn't just, just based off of that, the RPMs and the automatic start and stop cradle thing uh, feature. It was also the fact that, you know me, I kept looking. I said, there's got to be, because it's not pulling up by the seller name on anything but Amazon. It was a drill by itself with one bit with the cradle. And then today I found a bundle where it came with drill bits. But now that I know that as long as you know the shaft size, your drill bits are interchangeable, mm -hmm. I said no. I'm going to go ahead and go with the set because my friend who um, owns a hair salon looked at that and said that would be the best drill bit set. And they are interchangeable. She did verify that. So I'm going to go with what she said because um, she's a professional. And at that shop, they know how to do so many different things. I love it. Yeah. So they're like the one-stop shop place. No, uh, nails, I'm trying to say nails and hair. Couldn't get it out. I'm getting short of breath. But nails, hair, um, eyebrow waxing, teeth whitening. Like, you name it. And if they both aren't, at least one of them is certified in all these different things. Okay, so super cool. Um, they're just go-getters, you guys. I love them. I think that we've grown close. And so, you know, having good people around is great. Mm -hmm. A circle of people that you can relate to that kind of have similar goals and things. Um, so yeah, it's great. Living in a small town, um, overall, it's kind of like close-knit for the most part. But sometimes if you kind of keep to yourself, then you just have like your individual connections that you make with people. And so I always say, try and keep good people in your corner. Um, it's not to get anything from them or anything like that. It's just the fact that you're like-minded. And um, of course you're gonna have your difference of opinions, but I don't look, like I said, I've been saying this a lot, I don't look at differences, more so than I look at similarities. Um, my focus is how do we relate to each other? Um, what experiences have we both had versus how are we different? I can clearly see, even if we're just physically different. So that doesn't matter to me. So um, we don't have to feel the same, think the same, or anything like that. Um, there's a saying, you know, I say, we all need liquid food, let's say, clothes, stuff like that. And we have feelings for people. So, um, that's what I go off of. But anyway, I guess that's a kind of slight of my motivational speech or whatever, because I know sometimes I give one, sometimes I don't. But yes, that is my focus. We're headed in the same direction. Doesn't matter what we're doing, we're doing it and we're productive. So yeah, it just works. We can just relate to each other of the effort, the time, the energy, the blood, the sweat, the tears it takes. No matter what our end goal is, it doesn't have to be the same. So yeah, like I said, I don't look at the differences. If you have a goal, at least you have one. And you're trying to get there. So, um, and I, I can definitely relate to that. But yeah, so they really help me out with the knowledge that they have, especially being professionals, being licensed. And so I just soaked up everything they said. Um, and I did get closer to the price range of what they said 
that if I spend about that amount, my drill should be okay. So yeah, but like I said, I kept searching. I said, uh-uh, this drill has to have a manufacturer. Doesn't matter who the seller is, if they're not the manufacturer, somebody is. So I just so happened to look at one of the pictures and I think it had the manual laying out, um, like a little spread, you know, the drill, the crane, the box. And so they had that manual. And at the top, it did say like professional, you know, nail drill or whatever it said. But after that dash, I believe it said, what was it, 901 or 907? I think 901. I said, ha, now I have something to go off of. And I'll go up with the RPMs and I'll go from there because the start stop feature, the black and gold, the color, right? Nothing was pulling this thing up. It was just two short videos on Amazon, that was it. And then the bundle that I found. Well, I was like, I'm gonna use these other drill bits and plus I passed the return time for my drill that I already bought. So now I have these bits that I'm already used to using. And I already tried a drill bit that goes in a three, 32 shaft and it worked. So I crossed over everything. Now, I wasn't sure until this morning if the new drill had the shaft of 332, but when I found the bundle, it said that it did. And then it said it had like 10 or 11 bits with it. So I was waiting for my question to be answered. You know, like the Amazon community or from a seller. But then when I found the bundle, because I thought, why don't you just search for the same drill on Amazon? Use the same title and see what comes up. And that was the only other thing that came up was that they actually sold it with the bundle as well. And so I said, okay, that's all the information I need. I don't have to wait for them to answer. Now I just gotta find out, is there any other place it's sold? Is there any other manufacturer where it's so similar, you would probably think that it might be the same manufacturer, right? Even though, their drills actually say their name, um, which is yolk fell. Yeah, yolk, like a egg yolk. So, I like I said, when I put in that 901 and the RPMs and then the nail drill, then it came up. Um, I found it like AliPress, and that's where I saw that one said it, and I looked. And then I saw that it came in different colors. And I said, okay, I mean, 50, 50% chance. So now I'll start cross-referencing and looking for reviews for that drill or for that company, okay? Because I would think, hopefully, since they obviously had more than one drill, that the um, quality would be about the same especially if they're claiming that 40,000 RPMs. So on AliPress, for the one that looks identical to the one that I'm getting, there was no reviews. However, I said, okay, kind of brought the search, like I said, just their company in general. And then I went to YouTube again, and there was someone else on, but I went to YouTube, and I was like, aha. As soon as I put Yoko in, and I had the 40,000 RPMs, they have some that are 40, I don't know about 35 and 30, I think, also as well. I said, now, cut it down to just the 4,000 R, or 40,000 RPMs reviews from YouTube. Yep, and then listen. Listen to the drill. Compare it to the two short videos on Amazon. You're, I'm listening for quality. I'm listening for, um, if I can hear the fact of the vibration, and if I can hear that it does, because when you turn it up, you can kind of tell. And once you start listening to enough drills, if people actually have it on the video and get quiet enough to where you can hear it, you can kind of hear if it does go up that high, and about how fast like it would be going if the drill was in there. Um, some people on YouTube show with the little placement drill that you keep in there just to protect it. And then some show with their own drill bits. I meant drill bit. 
and then some people put a jogging in. So enough people collectively as a whole have reviewed their drills and have done unboxings. And oh, this is my honest opinion of this drill or you know, a $30 drill versus a $300 drill. Enough people have put enough material out there to where I'm able to take the information that I told you guys, I think I told you guys yesterday, I really wish that I had the knowledge now that I had when I ordered it. Um, I probably never would have used it. It's not a bad drill, it's not. And it's light. And like I said, you wanna remove something or you wanna smooth down the powder, oh, you're good. But the gel and the gel top coat, having to spin it faster, it shouldn't just get hot just because it's spinning faster, but it also depends on how hard you're pushing. You know, different things like that, right? How long you leave it, actually, mainly how long you leave it in one spot as well. So who knows? I mean, I could have probably stuck with that Typhoon course, drove it, tried it with my drill, maybe it would have been okay, but the power. Once I was told it lacked the power I needed, and I said, good, now I know it wasn't just me, you know, and we laughed about that. So, yeah, I am hoping, really, really hoping, because there was only one drill from this company, one reviewer said the drill lasted, I think, for six months. I believe it was the same company. And so, when I get it, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna scan over the manual, I'm gonna look in the box, I'm gonna look in the drill, and see if it's that company and if for some reason it's being sold under, under a different seller. Granted, the seller could have just said, hey, uh, let's work out something to where we sell your item. You know, kind of like stores do, right? On the other hand, it could be them. I don't know. And uh, maybe they branded out or changed brand names. There may not be a name on this drill at all. But the 901 is where I start thinking. I really do think it's the same company. This treadmill skipping. So you guys, I don't know about video two plus my time. Um, I was literally gonna just hop off and we are very close to 40 minutes and I was gonna just hop back on and continue on for video one. So we'll see because it's not misbehaving to where obviously it has stopped but it's trying. All right, so um, yes, that's what I did and I'm gonna be very amazed if I get that package as fast as it said on Amazon. Like I said, they brought back for two day, and apparently they brought in one day. So I'm gonna see how fast does it come. And then I'm hoping for the price, even with the discount, that, uh, which I don't know. I don't even know if the coupon is still there, but um, it brought it back down closer to a price of a price range that they gave me. So yeah, for a good drill. But we'll see. If nothing else, it's pretty. The cradle is pretty too. So I don't know, you guys. Um, I'm just trying to cut down my time. It takes me way too long to take the stuff off. And um, speeding it up is an obvious thing. But having the right drill bit also, and then the power of the drill. Remember, I think I very briefly touched on that yesterday or the day before. That was a factor I wasn't really thinking of. So I know I'll, I'll share the story, it's funny. Um, well, actually, I'll save the story for video two because we're getting close to 40 minutes. Um, it was a discussion that me and my husband had. You guys, he be making these faces. Had me rolling, right? I'm like, why does he get that look at his face? 
Uh, it's like that. What? Look. But so across between that, like you smell something that stinks. It's so, it's so funny. Okay, so we're gonna start off with that. Um, and you might find, well, I didn't find it all that funny. Well, then this might be one of those you just have to be their stories. But I'm gonna check the time, and if the second video will end very close to one, or like after, like no later than 1.30, then I'll go ahead and do it. All right, so we're at 40 minutes, eight seconds, 1.32 for distance, 140, uh oh, one calories. I actually missed the button that time. And I'm not gonna even go put more water in my bottle. That's how much time I don't have. So yeah, and you know what? I'm not gonna wait for this floor all the way down. So you guys are gonna hear some weird noises, some clicking, some other stuff, but I'm just gonna let it go all the way down and reset itself. Well, it reset up here, but reset down there for the incline. And then we're just gonna hop right back into it. Glass is slipping and all, you guys. All right, see you in a couple seconds.